hey guys taps here welcome to my youtube channel i'm super excited to have you on this video in my last video we did a tutorial on how to create a custom login and registration pages uh quite very free with a free plugin called forminator and we designed quite an amazing uh, user login and registration forms uh, so let's preview to see exactly what we designed so we created a login form like this super simple super easy for people to log in on your website to have a front-end login and also a simple registration form like this for people to just log in front-end on your website we can close this I still went ahead to show how you can get something this paid in case you want to ship something or you want to require more information from people so they can give you very detailed information and this is quite a multi-step form okay i need this is compulsory for me to go to the next and so at the next they can give you the username and password and they can even subscribe to a membership and then they will see the amount they are to pay and they will hit the consent button and they can check how with paypal or with their debit and credit card uh, so it, this is actually free to design it's something you find very fascinating for your website and super easy to create i would not be creating a complex form like that in this tutorial if you want to know how to design this uh, if you come back to my channel find this video my last video how to create a registration and a login page for free uh, you will get in-depth tutorial this is about a 43 minutes long video how to do this step by step in this video i got a comment so in this video i got a comment that says how can i set off this form as pop-ups on my website and that's the reason why i'm doing this video i want to show you exactly how to create this form and you can turn it to a pop-up with a simple click with a light box effect on your website for the sake of this tutorial i will just go about creating a very simple form that we are going to use for that tutorial in this video so what you need to do to get started really if you have not watched that video is for you to install this plugin called forminator and if you install it if you come to forms you would have the opportunity to create a free form just like i showed you earlier if you hit the create button we have quite a number of forms that we can design here but let me just do a quote and let's continue and let me just call this a quote as usual we already have a form ready for us to use so if we preview this form we'll see that we have a quote here uh, that we can use so i won't be customizing this form if you want to know how i customize it like i said earlier you can check my previous video so i'll hit the publish button to make this form go live very easy so now we can display this form with this short code anywhere on our website now the question is how do we display this form with a light box or as a pop-up on our website so now let's close this and we'll be needing the help of another plugin to get this done so let's come to plugins and let's come to add new so let's look for a plugin called Osul. this plugin is designed by WPMUDev the same person that have designed this form called Forminator and they have quite a, an amazing number of plugins as you can see all these ones too are designed by WPMUDev and this is quite fantastic they've got fantastic plugins so let's install also if you want to create pop-ups on your website you want to create slides in you want to do email marketing you can consider using this plugin called also but for the sake of this tutorial we'll just be using it to display our form so now let's come to also by the far left here and we'll see quite a number of options here but let's just stick with pop-ups and then let's create a pop-up uh, so we can just call this for example pop-up so now you have an option here is this for email opt-in or is just for informational but this is definitely not for email opt-in just want to create a pop-up for a form 
so let's create informational and let's choose a template let's start from scratch because we have another intention here so you have the option to put title images and do a lot of things but that's not what we are going to be doing what we are going to be doing is just on our main content and here we can come back to our forms let me refresh this so that i can see the new quote form that i just published uh, so this is it uh, so i can come down to settings here and then i can copy this short code and then i'll come back to our pop-up and i'll populate this main content with a short code and that's literally everything we need to do here uh, so there is so many other settings that are supposed to work around here but just because we are not creating a pop-up we just want to display our forms we are going to leave them as is but again we can still come down to appearance as usual we're not going to play with layout and all these things but there's something i want to touch here instead of using the default color here i will just come to custom and i will make a lot of things as transparent as possible so my pop-up container i can leave this as is uh, but for this my main content background color i will make this transparent even for my border color i'll make it transparent as well so for my layout uh, you can see everything here is transparent for my layout content i will also make this transparent and i think that's literally everything i need to do everything here is transparent so we can leave all these things here this is for the close button so let's leave this as is there is one more thing we need to do before we publish this pop-up is for us to come to the behavior of the pop-up you see here that we can set uh, a pop-up trigger uh, by default this is set to time that's not exactly what we want so we're going to close this uh, so we want this pop-up to be triggered by a click and that's exactly what we are going to tick here uh, so if we tick this and we open this up we have a short code here that we can use to display this pop-up anyway on the website so let's copy this short code and now if we come to our website here for example uh, let me edit this with elementor so let's say i want to search for short code and let me just drag this somewhere here this is just for tutorial purpose so i can bring the short code here and if i do that i can save this page okay so let's come back to our pop-up so remember that we have not published this pop-up so let's come up here and hit the publish button and you can see our pop-up is ready to go so now let's come back to elementor and then let's view this page in a private window so you can see we have something called click here so if we click this you can see that our form is displaying uh, in light box mode but there's still some settings we need to do around here uh, which is okay so let's close this this is displaying as click but we may want to change this away from click uh, so how do we do that so let's come back here so if we click on our short code you see a place here that says click in between this code here so you can change this from click to any text that you're okay with so let's just say here get a quote all right so that's it and then we can update our page here so we can see that the text i will see here now is get a quote and then if we come back to our pop-up and we come back to appearance so i would like to just change this to white I also like to change this to white and then I can update this so coming here now let's refresh this page so you can see we have get a quote so if we click this this is actually showing with a light box uh, effect uh, but the thing now this is full screen just because I changed the background to white you can make the background transparent the form alone will show but the reason why I like to leave it this way is just because uh there is no way to set margin and padding you may need to add some custom css to be able to set uh margins and padding to this uh if you want to use it well and i don't want to take you through that route but if you are very familiar with css so you can just come back here 
this uh, pop-up container here instead of white we can just change this to transparent and then we update this form you can refresh this page and then if we click this as you can see here this is not uh, aligning well so you may just need to style this yourself because this plugin itself wasn't designed to light box or pop up a form uh, so uh, it's having some alignment issues so that's the reason why I would advise that you just make it full screen so that um, everything just shows all together so now the question now is if you want to display this form now you want it to pop up with maybe your menu here or any button anywhere not just a uh, text like this so uh, how do you do that so let me show you that before I end this video so if we come back here so for the sake of this tutorial I will change this back to white and then I'll update this let's just say I want to add a menu I'll come to appearance and I'll come to menu I'll try to create a custom link for login so I'll just make this and then I'll say log in so I'll add this to menu so we already have another button for login so we're gonna leave that so let's come back to our forms sorry we're supposed to just come to also really let's come to pop-ups and for pop-up here let's edit this and let's come back to behaviors so here if we come down here you would see that we can trigger this thing by clicking on an existing element in the page so what we have to do is to add some element class or element id so what that means is that we have to look for the class or the id of the element that we want to use to trigger this pop-up so let's come back to our page here let's come now to the front end so let's say uh, let's refresh this okay I've not published this let me save this menu all right so let's come back here and let's refresh this page so now I have a login what you're going to do is that you are going to find the element that you want to trigger the pop-up so for example it is this login button here so I will right click this button and I will inspect this element so if I do that I would see where the element is here so this is the element here right here so if I click this three button here I'll see the option for me to copy this and then I'll see the option for me to copy selector so if I click this I can come back now to my pop-up here and then I'll paste my selector here so you can see this is the ID uh, for the element menu item 193 so I'll update this page so let's come back now to our incognito window and let's refresh this page so you will have this login here so if I click it so you can see it's popping up on my website this is super easy super simple so you can do this for any button on your website just inspect the tool and copy the class of that tool and then add it and as a matter of fact if you close this and come back here you will see that you can add multiple selectors by just adding a comma so I can put a comma now and I can add another page where I want this uh, form to trigger so I'll keep adding the element so it's just simple go to the page click on the so for example if I were to want uh, people to, uh, clicking this icon now I can just inspect this element so you can see this is the element here right now so I can hit this and then I can copy and uh, copy selector and that's it so I can come back to my pop-up here and then I can add that here so I can update this page and then I can view that on my front end An experiment with this and let me know if you have any issues if you do I'll look out for them in the comments and I might just maybe do another tutorial to help you solve your problem uh, so that's my time for this video I hope you had value for your time as well if you do give me a thumbs up you can also subscribe to this channel and that's not all if you get value for my video there's a place beside the like and the share you see a place where you can support this channel also as well so do that I'll appreciate it so so much thank you for your time I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.